Hello everybody, welcome to VOA Academy. I am Nani, your science tutor. Welcome to welcome all of you to this video. This video is going to be a bit more special and different from the rest of videos that are there on the channel. Because in this video, we are going to discuss about importance of studying physics in our day-to-day -day life and what are the best ways or good ways to study physics or science in general. See, being a science teacher, I have encountered this question a number of times where students ask me that, ma'am, if we don't want to pursue science as a career, why we have to study this very hard subject all through our 10th standard? Why? And I also think that this question is quite real and natural and it might have struck minds of various students and a very large number of students. So, here in this video, I want to share some of the importance of studying physics that will help you in your day-to-day -day life whether you pursue a career in science or not. So, I believe that most of the viewers watching this video are uh, students or teachers who must have studied the chapter work power energy anywhere, somewhere, all through their career. So, if you have studied that chapter, you might have seen the concept of energy units and power. Yes. So, by understanding that concept of energy units and power would help you in your day-to-day -day life. Suppose if you are a person handling your home when you are grown up, older enough to handle all your stuff by yourself, then by using that concept, you can just calculate the amount of electrical appliances that are there inside your house. You can see the average number of hours that you are using them and thus calculate the amount of energy units that they might be consuming using the power ratings on them. And this would be very helpful because with the help of that, you can predict the electricity units that you are consuming and you can manage your bills, you can manage the counts of your own. Yes or no? It's not, not related to your career, but it's related to your day-to-day -day life. And suppose there is another concept that struck my mind. You must have studied the concept of friction. Now suppose if you uh, would to become a businessman and you are handling a lot of factories where there are number and number of machines there and in that case friction would be your biggest evil because it might be killing a lot of your machines. And in that case studying this chapter of friction where you might have seen methods in which you can reduce the amount of friction could help you a lot. You can use those methods that you have studied in your class 10th and thus reduce the amount of friction in your machines that would even help you to increase your yield and would help you to be more efficient. So I guess these were these are some of the applications that justifies the fact that studying science or physics in general is not something only for your career if you want to pursue it in science but it literally helps you in your day to day life and further I do believe this thing